Yo, what's up today? I'm gonna just do a little demonstration uh, how and why baking your animations is important for GTA, uh, like either fragments or just basic animations. I've got two exactly the same models. They're set up the same. They're just named different. Uh, I have all the bells and whistles ready to go. So let's just go. I'm going to turn off number two. Uh, I'm going to go into this and control tab. Let's go to pose mode. And I'm just going to select this bone here and I'm going to set a keyframe. And I'm going to go to the middle and I'm going to rotate it on the X by minus 180 degrees keyframe there by pressing I, go to the end, I'm going to rotate on the Z minus 180 again, I'm going to press enter, and I for another keyframe, and press space to check out the animation, you can see that it's spinning around, that's pretty cool. Alright, so these are the only keyframes that we have, um, I'm still because 0 and 60 are the same, I'm starting at 1, so it's a smooth animation. Um, otherwise, 0 and 60 will be the same, so for two frames, it'll be at the same location, if you don't want that. Anyway, this is ready to go. As you can see, it's made an animation, and it's called this, Action 001. Cool, so that's ready to go, so control tab to get back out of um, pose mode. So I'm going to turn uh, this one off and go to number two. And basically, you're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start on frame zero, um, select this, control tab, open up this to select this, press I, go to 30, RZ minus 180. Press I again for the keyframe, and 60, RZ minus 180 again, and I for the keyframe. As you can see, it does exactly the same thing. Uh, but what we're going to do now is, in pose mode still, we're going to go up to pose here, and we're going to go to animation and bake the action. Alright, and I'm just going to leave everything the way it is and just press OK. And you'll see that now it has filled in every single keyframe along this animation. So these are all set in stone. So when I press play, you'll see it's pretty much exactly the same as the other one, but it just has every single keyframe filled in. Um, so yeah, now that both of these are ready, I'm going to control tab to get back out of this. Uh, so now you can see that this animation here, this just has an action now. So when we did the uh, bake, it turned it into an action. Alright, so that's what we're going to have to add to our dictionary uh, to make it work. So in animations, we're just going to create a clip dictionary. Uh, I'm going to call this something simple like uh, NM logo test. Doesn't really matter what it needs to be called. Uh, I'm going to create two animations and I'm going to take two clips. And the first animation is going to be called this one. And the first clip is going to be called this. And the second one is number two. 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 Alright, so we'll start on the one now. We'll go to the solemns. We'll just drag this up here so I can see it a bit better. Uh, so this is number one. Alright, so its action is as you can see here sm loop test action 001 so we're going to go click on this and the target for this is going to be an armature 
All right, you can see that the, the armature for this one here is test one scale. So I'm going to click on here, and go test one scale. So there we go, that's already to go for the animation. Then we go to the clip. I'm going to call it the uh, same thing, test one, and the name is test one dot clip. I'm going to add a new a linked animation. It's going to be the number one test. Uh, so I want this to go a bit slower. So usually what you'll do is you get the frames and uh, you'll <coughs> you'll basically divide it by 60. But I, I want this to take four seconds to rotate. So I'm just going to press four. Uh, so that one's ready to go. Now we'll do the exact same thing with number two. So I'm going to copy this. Now, as you can see, the action is the action for number two. It says action here, for number two. Uh, the target is this number two scale. All right, and in the uh, clip, go to number two now here. So this is number two, as you can see. And this one's going to be called dot clip. And we'll do the same thing. We'll add a new one, and it's number two. It starts at one and sixty. It's going to take four seconds to do a full rotation. So uh, let's export this. Uh, I'll get to a place uh, where I know. It is. There we go, and I might as well just export these two. See, it's all exported. Uh, in RPF Explorer, I have a a research thing with animations, and this has uh, all of my animations in an RPF. I will find. Uh, my tutorials. And I'm just going to drag these in. Uh, so they're ready to go. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to put these <coughs> into a stream folder with some other animations. So yeah, just bear with me. I'll do that. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna do an archetype definition. This is test anims. And auto create both of them from selected the clip dictionary is going to be called this. Uh, I only want them to be small, and this has an anim 512. So there we go. Uh, so this is going to have the same. And has anim. Cool, I'm just going to export this to the same spot, and in here I've got all animations. What I'm going to do is open up and copy from item to item all the way up, press Control C, copy these, and then I'm going to go to, what's this, all anim. And I'm just going to paste these here and save that and plug them back in there. Okay, now off to Code Walker. Okay, here I am at the airport. I'm going to open the files. What I'm going to do is find the all animations that I just did and should do is I should just copy this and hold down shift and 
drag one of these out. Uh, so, what did I call it? It was called Logo Text Test 1. Okay, so this is the number one. This is the one without the baked. Um, without the baked animation. And I'm just going to drag another copy over here. And this one here is going to be an e-code number two. And as you can see, in Code Walker, they look great. They look awesome. They're spinning around. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to save everything. And I'm going to jump into the server and have a look at them. Okay, here we are in game. As you can see, this logo here is getting funky. It's scaling when it shouldn't be scaling while it's spinning. So you've probably ran into this problem before. And here, as you can see, this one here is the bait uh, animation. It's not scaling at all. It's running exactly how we made it. So yeah, there we go. Hope that helps uh, with animations. And yeah, hit up the Storms Discord if you need any help with anything else. All right. Catch you in the next one. Peace.